Hey Virgo, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for your likes, subscribes, and shares. If there's anything else you'd like to know about me, it's in the description. This reading will be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Keep in mind, you do not have to be a Virgo to resonate with this reading. Please take a resonates and leave the rest. I'm available for personals. That information is in the description. Spirit, angels, ancestors, and guides, thank you so much for all that you do for me. Thank you for loving, guiding, and protecting me. Please allow me to connect to the collective sign of Virgo and give guidance and advice to those who need it. Also, please surround me with a protective white light of the highest frequency and only allow positive energy into my space. Amen. 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 Hey, Virgo gang gang. I hope you are doing well. I hope you are taking care of yourselves because I am. Okay, let's get some messages from the person on your mind. I'm so frustrated right now, y'all. So... My edibles stop working because I have a high tolerance. Okay, I just need some time to give more in our relationship. 111, one of a quarter. This person, they're asking for more time. I'm just getting, maybe there was some level of misunderstanding here. But Virgo, that doesn't mean you have to keep explaining yourself until you turn blue in the fucking face. I think I already have a big crush on you. You took your power back. You took your power back. It's hard to show, but I do care about you so much. So you could be dealing with somebody that um, they're better with their mind. They're better being more logical. Yeah, they're better at being logical. So this person doesn't do well, really. Like They don't do well with emotions, okay? I've been giving you love, devotion, and receive nothing but your criticism and pain. Verg, verg, verg. And I feel like it's only like this because the person that you're dealing with, they don't show emotion. So you kind of feel like you got to say something just to get a response. Or I feel like mm, this person may have pushed you to the point of no return. If I ever put off my mask, will you accept another real me? Who wrote these? You know what? Leave it alone, Jacqueline. That OCD and that ADD be real. Okay, maybe we have so many differences and I just can't meet your standards. Okay, so what I'm getting with this, definitely getting, there's like a belief clash and it's like, okay, I respect your beliefs, but you have to respect mine either. You don't have to believe the same things I believe in, but you do have to respect that and not cross that line. And so... You never try to cross that line with this person. Maybe this person is religious, but you never try to cross that with them. They may have tried to cross that boundary with you, but it's important that you establish healthy mental, emotional, and spiritual boundaries. On the bottom, we have, if only there were a time machine to bring us back to those beautiful memories. So this person, like, they miss the times you both share together. As I split the deck, we have, I saw the King of Cups, Prince of Pisces Scorpio energy. Hmm, I feel like reading today, y'all. Just in one of those moves, you know how it is. Okay, so we have the moon card here. 
You could be dealing with a cancer. But I'm getting there was like some level of co confusion or some level of misunderstandings within this connection. Yeah, the five of wands. Like there was a lot of conflict, bumping heads. For what? For nothing. Like for what? Okay. The Knight of Cups reverse, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. So there is somebody here that has a crush on you, Virgo, but they're not going to tell you. They're not going to tell you. Like, they show it, but don't expect this person to be vulnerable or express their emotions because their love language is gift giving. Virgo, your love language might be gift giving or... Um, either gift giving or being a sign of service to people. So you're happier when you take action and do things for people. We have the Knight of Swords reverse, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. How do you feel towards this person? We have two Knights reverse, clarifying each other. Who the fuck are all these people? The Two of Cups on how this person feels towards you. They feel like you're like a, this the past life soulmate card. I know my nails look complicated, but y'all love me though. So the fuck? just gotta wait. Like I don't want to put press-ons on and I have to let my nails grow out before I go to the shop, but they will get done. Okay. Just not right now. We have the chariot card. Cancer energy. So we have the chariot and the moon card out here. How does person, <laughs> this person cares about you. They adore you. They love you. It's only because, well, not it's only because, but a part of it has to do with you taking your power back. A part of it has to do with you shining. But this person, we have Aquarius energy, but this person feels like, okay, I've been, I've been doing these things for you, but you know, all I'm receiving is your criticism and your pain. And it's like, it's not even like that. Like, you're not, you're physically doing things and I get it. Actions speak louder than words, but also sometimes people need to hear those words. How you don't, how are they supposed to know if you don't tell them? While you're alive, you're supposed to tell people how you really feel. People deserve that. Put a card flip backwards. The world card, something coming to an end. The Ten of Swords reverse. So you're healing from something. There may be something that you're just, you have these non-negotiables and these things you aren't willing to compromise with, okay? We have the Nine of Cups reverse. So it's like, you need a person to be 110% real and transparent with you. If they don't know how to do that, then I really don't see you dealing with it. The Devil reverse. Capricorn energy. Because I'm getting like, you have a free spirit and you don't give a fuck what nobody thinks. And this person feels like, okay, there's so many differences, be it spiritual or whatever. There's so many different beliefs. Maybe they can't meet your standards. But you could be a reader, a healer, or a light worker. And like, maybe you weren't accepted. The Queen of Pentacles upright. Yeah, you have standards. You don't settle. Virgo, a Virgo settle? <laughs> <laughs> and on the bottom, we have the High Priestess upright because a Virgo doesn't settle. Um, you could be done with a Pisces, but let's state the facts here. Let 
think this is fine. And then I'm not gonna read these messages. Okay. Natural evolution. Let the situation unfold naturally. So the, the mutual energy between you two, Virg, is basically saying that, okay, you don't want to bump heads. You need it to be real. You need it, this situation to unfold naturally, okay? How does Virgo go towards this person? Love language, physical touch. A tender touch means so much. So your love language, which I'm not surprised, most Virgos, um, their love language is physical touch. And what I say, as soon as I said that their love language is gift giving, a gift from someone special. How this person feels towards you with the two of cups upright and the chariot. This person feels like, okay, this person really cares about you. And I get that you care about this person, but you just want to establish boundaries. We have responsibilities, romance interrupted, duties come first. And I feel like that's how you both feel. You're like, you know what? My duties come first. And I'm also hearing like Virgo, your journey hasn't ended. It may feel like it, but it has not. 12-12 on the recorder. Spirit, spirit soul path, a personal evolution within your relationship. But it's like, I'm getting you accepted this person and all their flaws. Never tried to change them. It's just there for them, right? They didn't give you the same respect. And so what I'm getting here is somebody here wants this connection to evolve, to grow. Disguise. Some elements of this relationship are hidden. With the devil reverse here, it could be some sort of like addiction, codependency, toxic habits. Um, you are worthy. Your worth doesn't depend on the other person. So know that your value and your worth doesn't depend on external. 1313 on the recorder doesn't depend on external situations. Mm. I'm newsy. Okay, ostrich trap. Steering clear, run for cover, fear based thinking, feeling threatened, refusing to face reality. So, the mutual energy here is definitely with the moon card up here. It's like take the rose colored glasses off, um, be careful who you give your energy to. Anybody trying, like, who gives a fuck? Tyler Tick. <laughs> Anum Cara. Unconditional love, romance, soulmates, uncommon bond, devoted, always. Tenderness, timeless. Infinite love, unchanging, best friends. So, what I'm getting here, you feel like this person was your best friend? Unconditional love. This reading's interesting. How this person feels towards you. This person has a new, they have a new perspective when it comes to you, okay? Exploration, finding your way, unknown destination, plan, prepare. Yeah. It's the map. <laughs> it's the map. It's the map.
somebody coming towards you the map card you could be at a distance from this person but they could be traveling towards you person of earth virgo taurus capricorn energy the provider and caregiver somebody that's a manager a business owner Hmm, somebody here, somebody here is stubborn, but classy, okay? It's like you both need to tend to your responsibility. So that's why this connection has to naturally take its course and grow in the right direction. We have child, fixed, stubborn. Stubborn out here twice, Virgo, 1660 on a recorder, jeez. Boundless energy, time to play, love to learn, imagination, delights in simple things. So I'm not surprised. Most earth signs, they delight themselves um, with the simple things, okay? Follow your path, right? You won't be happy until you do. I don't know who that's for, but follow your passions and, and your purpose. You're not going to be happy until you do. I mean, for real, for real. I had to tell somebody, like, look, I love my channel. I love what I do. And ain't nobody trying to be no fucking broke housewife. That's for sure. And I definitely need my own source of income. Like, kerosene, aggressive determined, fuel, encourage, unpredictable. I'm getting here with this kerosene and the outcome verb. It don't matter because you're determined. Some things are going to accelerate. You have the queen of pentacles up right here. So some things are going to accelerate in your life. On the bottom, we have baggage, access, Excess, unre unresolved issues held together, um, fearing separation, prepared to go, next phase. So there is a new phase in your life where you have to understand that you are worthy. We have the high priestess here, like you are worthy and deserving of love. And it's like, just because your, your belief system is different or how you um, approach life is different, doesn't give people the right to disrespect you and you're standing in your purpose and your power. And I don't know, Virg, I'm getting the energy that maybe lately you've been 18, 18 on a recorder that you've been having to tell people off. But you had to do it in a nice, nasty, loving way. Like, get, get the fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. The high priestess reversed. So we have it out here upright and reversed. So somebody's keeping secrets, keeping it all in. Somebody could have been very close-minded in this situation. The Ace of Coins reverse, a risky endeavor. Somebody may want to take a risk here. They're keeping a secret that they want to take a risk with you. Take a risk, a risk. Okay, the strength card reverse, lacking confidence. So this could be a connection where you are focused on yourself, 1919 on a recorder, where you're focused on your confidence and just taking care of you and making sure you feel good in your body inside your meat suit. The queen of coins reverse, tending to yourself. I can't make this shit up. You have to tend to yourself, to yourself. It's not selfish. Tend to yourself. <laughs> Who gives a shit? Yes, and I'm shouting Tyler out every time I have a Tyler tick. Okay. We have the Two of Cups. It probably was upright, but I'm not going to play around with this. We had the Two of Cups reverse. I believe it was upright. And it's in the same position on how this person feels towards you. But... 
Somebody may have an unhealthy attachment to you. The magician pre-manifest. Somebody is manifesting you, okay? 2020 on the recorder. Somebody is manifesting you. Make it make sense. The justice card, fairness and balance. You deserve connections that are balanced, okay? The devil reversed again. Okay, bro. The devil reversed unhealthy patterns. Yeah. Be fair to yourself. Give yourself grace. Okay? Three of Swords Reverse. Overcoming Sorrow. 2112 on the recorder. So this is basically telling me that you're healing your inner child. Doing the work will call in your soulmate. Only fools rush in. So... This is where that self-love, 2131. This is where that self-love comes in at. Like, don't rush into nothing. We have the King of Cups reverse. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. There could be an element, either you or this person, unpredictable. Planning and execution here. Maybe somebody provoked you. And I'm getting there are some elements of your life that you want to keep secret, right? Not in a bad way, but just to kind of protect you um, and to kind of build stronger boundaries for yourself. The Four of Cups were seizing the day. So, like, you're seizing an opportunity to better yourself. And while you're doing this, you have, you have suitors, whether male or female. They're not taking action right now, but they're watching you. The lovers upright, union, Gem, Gemini energy, 20, what's that, 2244, quarter. Get some more messages. I wasn't going to pull from this, but why not? Then I'm going to act like I want to eat. Get the heck off of here. Somebody wants to give you a gift. Somebody's pre-manifesting you. They're manifesting you. This journey is teaching us one of the most important spiritual lessons. Patience. Ooh, that patience. Union is an energy, not a physical construct. Even when we aren't together, I feel our union. So, Virg, you can feel this person. Even though you two may be at a distance, emotionally distant from each other right now, we have, I'm not going to give into fear. I know fear is only an illusion. I want to let my guard down with you, but fear makes me lash out in self-defense. And I feel like it's not just one-sided. I think you both do this. Like, I'm not surprised. Oh, yeah, my stomach hurts. I'm getting a little hangry. That's too many. That's too many. I'm not happy. Karma behaviors, people, or situations is playing a role in what's happening with me, and it's hard for me to see a way out. Yes, yeah, stomach, I know. Just embarrass me on camera. <laughs> Stomach's like, well, eat, bitch. I've been giving my power away to people in my life. I'm learning to set boundaries. And I feel like this is you. You're learning to set boundaries. They are setting boundaries. Like, you both are mirroring the shit out of each other. 
I'm looking for a way out of this situation so I could be free. Your twin feels like you're valuable, like you're a true gem, you're worth the wait. Um, there d definitely may be some distance here between you and this person. There needs to be some justice brought to this situation. Um, like I said, maybe you both were bumping heads. We have the three of swords. Is that upright or reverse? That's reverse. So you're healing and moving on and taking a leap of faith. Uh, maybe there were people around you, uh, lovers, family, that you just, it, you may have felt like it was blocking your spiritual growth, right? So you're no longer giving your power away to people. Like, who gives a shit? Tyler Tick. <laughs> healing connection. Manifesting the one. This person is manifesting you. That's what I'm going to name this. 2626 on the recorder. This person is manifesting you. Well, Virgo, this is all I have for you. Thank you so, so much for tuning in. You know I love you guys. And I'll talk to you soon. Peace.